Do you believe that I could automate this robot tank using a mobile application without using a single line of code? Yes, I could do it using a new mobile application called KME. This IoT application will work well with ESP32 and ESP8266 boards. Today I am using a ESP32 board for my project. Now I will show you quickly how to configure this app and you can use this method to automate anything you like. You can go to their website using this link. Then click on developer tab. Scroll downwards until you find this location. Because I am using Windows, I will download the Windows version. After downloading the file, extract it to your computer. Then open the desktop application. Open the side menu and select the port of your device. And click connect button. Now click on upload firmware button. And wait until it finishes. After uploading, you can see the device ID and Mac ID like this. Now press this plus icon on top right. Now I am adding a DHT11 sensor on pin 33. Then I will use the relay feature to drive the headlights. I am using pin 14 for it. Then click the fire button on bottom right. After uploading, open your mobile phone's app store or play store and search for KME. Install this application on your mobile phone. Then open the application. When you are using the mobile app for the first time, you have to register with your email. In here, I am using my registered email to log in. This is the application. In a breadboard, I have connected a DHT11 for pin 33 and a LED for pin 14. Now I will press and hold the ESP32's boot button until its inbuilt LED starts to blink. Now click the plus icon on the mobile app and click add device. Add your Wi-Fi credentials in here and click connect. And select via smart connect. Now click add device in here. And you can rename it as you want. Now navigate to the home page by clicking back. Now you can see this new controller set. Now I can simply control the LED and see the data of this DHT11 sensor. This is the same thing that I have used in my tank also. This sensor and LEDs are connected in same way so I can control them and monitor their data. My next video will show you how to navigate this robot using this application. Follow the profile to watch it.